What is good guys, we are back with ABR vs Black Oblivion for SPL Week 7, the Wolfpack vs the Classiest. I actually know Black Oblivion's team because Snow passed this to my man Dennis like a few months ago. And I remember that it's banned we well, Scarf Lily, the Hydro Vortex Rodon with Defog, and then Magma Trapper Trample Zardwar, which I love this combo, this combo is fire because he can trap Pax and Chansey. Pretty much the monster that Zardwar doesn't like, Hedron traps them. And then Zadwai puts in work. In this game, it's not even needed because ABI doesn't have a pack, so Zadwai can just click fire moves uh, with everything besides Heatran, whereas Heatran has to click focus blast. But when it comes in on like Tangrowth or Lily, Zadwai can definitely put in work, and I think it has great matchup. Then the Landris, I don't remember the set, but it's most likely a Fist Dev Landris because it's weak to physical attackers in general, like Low Pony, Medichim, could be annoying for his team, so I could see uh, Landris being Helmet or Leftovers, one of the two. Yachi, I guess, is another option because he's kind of weak to Megiana, um, depending on his Rotom set. Like, if his Rotom is not Spadev and his, his Heatron is offensive, um, like, Megiana is really annoying for his team. Yeah, like, Rotom doesn't beat Megiana even if it's Spadev. So, if Tron is not Spadev, I could definitely see the Lando being Yachi. So, we see uh, ABR lead off with Tapu Lele versus the Rotom. Black Oliven should just switch into his Heatron here and keep the Rotom healthy so he can check uh, Lando and Heatron with it. And so he can potentially defog with it later for the Zard. Uh, ABR can just attack here. I'm expecting some Breaking Lele, either Specs or Z move. We can also look at the rest of ABR's team. It could be AV Tangles. It has to be AV Tangles actually. Um, to help versus like Greninja, all sort of Greninja, all type of Greninja. Then the Landos could be Scarf since he has a Tangles to deal with Zygarde. So I'm expecting like Scarf, Defog, Lando, then Rocks on Tren, Spikes on Greninja. And then yeah, like I said, some Breaking Lily. If it's Vex, he could go for Psychic or Focus Blast here to weaken the Tren. If it's all out pummeling, he could go for that. Another option would be CM Psychium Lily. But yeah, just attacking here is a fine play for Abia, and Bio should always go in his Heatran. And yeah, he has a Megazam, which is most likely 4 attacks, and it's also a huge threat in terrain, for sure. What was I gonna say? Um yeah, like, if Heatran comes out, that's fine for Abia. He doesn't have to, like, double predict that. He can just weaken the Heatran, and then next turn he can decide... If which Heatran check he wants to send out. He has like three Heatran checks in Greninja, Lando, and Zan. So he goes for Z move. Is it pummeling? It's Guardian of Alona. So it's Z Nature's man. It does 75%, 74 it says. But yeah, it does like 75. Usually always the move. Pretty much the same. It says it's just showdown rounding up and down sometimes. So we see it's leftover Heatran. Means it's not Z move confirmed. I already knew that because I knew the team, but now ABR also knows. So he could go Greninja. He doesn't have to fear the Heatran being Bloom Doom anymore. Legolivin should just attack or go for Toxic here. I don't know if he has rocks on the Trent or on the Lando, but even if he has rocks on this, there's no point in going for rocks. Because if ABR goes for hazards, especially like rocks, then Legolivin has to defog anyway because he has a Weevil and a Zard and they're weak to rocks, right? So I don't see the point in setting rocks up even if you have them. I would just attack to weaken the Gren or the Zam. I expect one of the two to come out, most likely the Gren. So he could. Um, I would personally just Magma Storm here. Just in case he tries to go Zam and off power kinda does the same to Greninja than Magma Storm because you get um, Stab and you get Magma Storm's secondary effect, the Trapper effect, like the chip damage, which is like, I forgot how much percent does it do again. Yeah, I actually forgot, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I want Magma here. He's not going hard into his Heatran, that's like too risky on the potential off power. He does go Greninja, what does he go for? He goes for off power, which is also a fine play. He gets a crit that sucks. Now, um, Black Oblivion's obvious player would be going into Rotom. Maybe I could predict that and go for Spike. But, like, Black Oblivion doesn't necessarily need a Heatran. The only bad thing about staying in this here, if this is Battlebond Gren and he gets Ash form, that would be really bad for Black Oblivion. Well, it wouldn't be, like, game over because he can still revenge this with Scarf Lily and he also has a Psychic Terrain to prevent Water Shuriken. But it would still be really annoying for BO. So I don't know if I would stay in personally. I would probably just go into Rotom. But I expect ABR to go for Spike here. But like, uh, on the other side, he doesn't need the Heatran for anything, really. He needed it for the Lily, mainly. And Lily doesn't even... Like, it doesn't even beat the Lily anymore. Because if it switches in next time, it probably just gets 2 hit KO'd by Psyshock or Psychic. So he does stay in expecting the Spike. And what does he go for off power? Yep, picks up the kill. So that crit obviously sucked, because otherwise off power wouldn't have 2 hit KO'd. But he catches him there. Now, ABR can go in his... Yeah, goes in his Zem. Yeah, I get why he went into Zam, because if he goes into Landris, then he's forced to U-turn, and then if Black Oblivion stays, then he's in a bad position. So I understand why Zam was the play. 
Um, if Psychic Terrain Psychic kills even the Spadef Trend, then that's obviously the play. But if it doesn't kill, then he's probably just gonna Focus Blast. Legolivian could either sack this, or he could go in a Tapu Lily. Like, I don't see a point trying to pivot into his Weavile on the potential Psychic move. Because, like, Psychic Terrain is up, so he can't even Ice Shot this. And Weavile is really valuable. But, like, it kinda just clicks Knockoff whenever it comes in later. On, like, Tangrowth. So, or on Landris. So, like, yeah, I would definitely not sack it. Well, with Landris, it doesn't necessarily click Knockoff because of the Landris Scarf. Then you have to feed a Scarf U turn. But, yeah, that's a different story. Like, just in general, when it comes in on Tangrowth, it clicks Knockoff. So yeah, if Psychic kills guaranteed, then he can click that, otherwise Focus Blast is the play. So he goes into his Tapu Lily there, expecting either Psychic or Focus Blast. Probably expecting Focus Blast, and he gets it correct, yeah. So, there's a Scarf Lily, um, he could either Moonblast or go for the Psychic move. If the Psychic move to it KOs the Zam, then it's a fine play. Maybe I could stay in or he could go on his heat run. Those are pretty much the plays. His side shock was that was a good play, yeah. Uh, like I didn't know if he had side shock or psychic obviously. Since Zam doesn't have that great of defense stat, but obviously there's a good chunk. So now ABI has a few plays. He could go into Tangros, Landris or Heat Run. Or he could stay in expecting Black Oblivion to double out. I don't think Black Oblivion loses anything but just psych shocking again. But a double into Rotom is a potential play because it covers um, the incoming trend, the incoming Lando, and if Tangros comes out, you can still vote switch on that. So I think double into Rotom is a potential play. The only bad thing that could happen is uh, ABR staying in and expecting a double. So I would probably just Psy Shock and not risk him expecting a double, right? But yeah, he definitely wants the Zem around, so he's probably not gonna stay in, but he could. The Psy Shock still kills, I think, yeah, even without terrain, yeah. It's 65, then it did so much. So that's the Landrus. So this is probably um, Bulk Invested Landrus. Yeah, Scarf Bulk Invested with either HP or Defense. So now maybe I could just U-turn. Black Olivian is probably gonna go Landrus or Rotom. Yeah, it goes Landrus. Maybe yeah, U-turns. I think that confirms that it's Defense of Landrus. Now you can go into Tangrus or Tapu Lele. But if he goes Tangos and he doesn't have Rock Slide, then it would give a Black Oblivion a free switch in a Zard Y. Or Zard, we don't know confirmed yet, Like, I, but like I know the team, so to me it's obvious that it's Zard Y. If he changes, I'm gonna be disappointed. So I assume Lele comes out here, because if Tangros comes out then and doesn't have a move to hit Zard, Zard gets a free switch in. And like, Zard, if it's X, it's still a threat to him. Like, no matter if it's X or Y, it's a problem for him. I assume maybe he doesn't know if it's X or Y. So Lele comes out, I assume we see Psych Shock or Psychic. Yeah, we see Psy Shock. And yeah, we, s we can see it's Defensive Landers attacks it really well. Now we can U turn into uh, Weavile or into his uh, Zard. Okay, Zard, yeah. Now he can click Flamethrower to play it safe, or he can click Focus Blast if he expects the Heat Run. But the thing is, ABA doesn't know if it's X or Y. So if he's fearing his RX with Dragon's Earthquake. He might not want to go Heatran, he might want to go Landris. So he could probably just uh, play it safe and fire move here. But we'll see. Did he focus blast or fire move? He fire move flamethrowers and just kills the Landris. So I'm pretty sure ABI expected it to be a Zard X. I mean, even if it was a Zard X, he could have DD'd in regular form and then ABI would have been screwed as well. Unless he has Stone Edge. Yeah, he, he might have had Stone Edge. Because his team is quite weak to Pinsir. Like, not super weak, but like, he doesn't have good switchings to it, yeah. So he goes into Zam, which um, Psychic Terrain Psychic is gonna do a lot, but I don't know if it kills because that's why he has amazing speed death. So Black Oblivion should cut this if he has enough time, his time is relatively low. And yeah, if he lives it, then he can just stay in and kill the Zam. So he does stay in and lives on 6%, so that was either a roll in his favor, because he wouldn't stay in if it wasn't in his favor, or it was a guaranteed live. Flamethrower picks up the Zard, uh, the Zam, my bad. Now ABR can go into his Keytran. Yeah, exactly. I was gonna say if I was gonna say Lele, but Lele is not Scarf, so he has to go Heatran, and he can just click Toxic, or Magma Storm. Okay, so that sucks that he misses that. Uh, Magma Storm in the Sun. So Rotom is gonna go for Defog here. Yup. Magma Storm in the Sun would have done a good chunk to the Rotom, like 25 to 35. That's 30. So Rotom goes for Defog again. Um, I guess he expected him to go for Rocks, and his plan is just spamming Defog to keep Rocks off. Or he misclicked, one of the two, but I think he predicted rocks there. And his plan is to just spam Defog to Rotom die so rocks don't go up. 
Mm, but he could also kill this with Hydro Vortex, um, unless he changed his set. Surprised that ABS stayed in there, actually, though. No, that was a fine play by ABS because the sun was up, yeah, yeah. And the sun just ended this turn. So now ABS doesn't want to stay in, because now he would get blown away by his Z-move, or just by Hydro Pump in general. But the sun is down, so because Chang was expecting, um, yeah, the water move. And, yeah, he fires off Hydro Vortex. Now he could... Volt switch if he has that into sacking Landris or sacking Heatran. You could also go hard Weavile, but that's probably not the play because if he knocks off, you lose your choice band. So he does just, he does just Giga Drain. Now the Landris could just go for rocks or U turn here, depending on what BO wants to do. Um, ABR could like. Earthquake expecting a U-turn into the Tran, but he just switches into his own Tran. What did he predict there? Not 100% sure what he predicted, but he's forced to switch back into Tang with on the Earthquake. So Black Elephant got a lot out of that. He got Chip on Tang, he got Rocks up, and now he can U-turn out to keep this. And he can U-turn into either Weavile or Heatran, one of the two. Pretty sure Azad was super low from the Psychic that it took. It was at 6%, right? So Azad is definitely not the play. It's either Weavile or Tran. But yeah, that was like the uh, off-power crit in the grand, and he m dodged a magma storm. So yeah, some hex in Bio's favor, but he also has good matchup, and I'm pretty sure he's gonna take it home. So because we were expecting either HP eyes or Giga Drain, we will actually have decent speed death, so it takes it well. This is what I was talking about earlier. Now he just clicks knockoff. He doesn't have to predict at all. He just gets a kill with knockoff. Avia has to pick his fodder. Decides to throw the Lele out. This is definitely gonna die in one go. Even if it was Z move, Bob confirms the band pretty much there. So Hedron comes out. Hedron. Um, has to hit a Magma Storm here. Black Elephant can just knock off because he doesn't need the Weavile to like win. Like knock off just just like 50 to 60 I think. It does a lot and gets rid of the lefties. And if he gets rid of Heatran then he doesn't have to uh, hit Focus Blast and he can just win with Flamethrower with Zod. So it does dodge again which sucks. Maybe he has his GG. And yeah knock off picks up the, the kill and now he could sack his Lander or his Heatran or he could just knock off again. Doesn't really matter what he does. So he sacks his Landris. Now he could either go Weavile or Zard. He's probably gonna go Zard because then it's 100% accurate and he doesn't have to risk crash missing. So he goes Zard, clicks Flamethrower and the game ends. Yeah, that was Hex, but I don't think it mattered. Like, Bio had the matchup. The crit on the ninja that sucked a bit more, I think. Like, that one was annoying for sure. And yeah, now the classes are up 2 and 1, I think, was the Wolf Pack. I thank you guys for watching. That was definitely like a cool game. Like seeing stuff like this in SPL makes me want to build with Zardwai. Like a lot of people call Zardwai your unmon. And like I, ju I just love that mon and like it's like a cool combo we have it with the heat turn combined. We see here um the score. We saw uh, earlier Solon played. I think I didn't record that. I don't remember. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you with more coverage and peace out.